Turnamic Nordic Ski Bindings are a Fisher and Rosinal collaboration. Most of the models are step-in. Odds are, if you are a recreational classic style skier, your Turnamic bindings have the step-in feature. Turnamic NNN and Salmon's ProLink boots are compatible with these bindings. The bottom of the boot has two channels that integrate with the two raised ridges on the binding. The binding is removable and adjustable to different boot sizes. Pull this lever back until you see the word close. It's two clicks. Push the binding forward to slide it off the IFP plate. IFP is short for integrated fixation plate, which is these two pieces. Remove the tailpiece from the main body of the binding. It just clicks out. Notice on the tailpiece, there's boot size ranges. This is 36 to 38, 39 to 41, 42 to 44, and so on. My boot size is 39, so I'll adjust the plate so that on the edge here, there's a mark for 39 and 41, so that would be the range of my boot. Put the tailpiece back in place. Then slide the binding back onto the IFP plate. Then push the latch forward towards the tip of the ski. These bindings move three positions forward of the balance point of the ski and three positions to the rear of the balance point of the ski. When I slid the binding onto the IFP plate, I put it in the rearmost position. You see in the window it says negative three. And then you can move it forward, negative two, negative one, zero the neutral position, and then plus one, plus two, plus three. In normal conditions, you would ski with the binding in the neutral position, which would be at zero. If conditions are icy, or if you'll be climbing a long uphill for more grip, you may want to push the binding forward to maybe plus one or plus two. If conditions are slushy or powder, move the binding back to a negative number setting. Moving the binding back a bit allows the tips to come up and allows the ski to float better through that type of snow. I found if you don't have the number centered in the window, the latch won't close all the way. You can hear one click and then if you pull the binding, you'll hear another click when it pops into place and then you can fully uh, latch it in place and secure it. If you can't step in, the boot's probably too far, too far forward and you're pushing on this white rubber piece. Uh, most of us are accustomed to just pushing on the front of the binding and it'll release the ski. That's not the case with these. There's a slot that you can put the tip of the ski pole in and then you just turn to release. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated and thanks for watching.